Hi guys, Mark is here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, August 4th, 2022. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. This is episode 571, and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Yang Zi and Cheng Yi's livestream criticized as insincere. Fan Bingbing urged to develop her acting career overseas. Vic Cho swindled out of over a million US dollars. And Ma Tian Yu gives a travel website a piece of his mind in a now deleted Weibo post. Now we usually begin with what's recently premiered, but nothing to report for today and yesterday. So we begin with imminently premiering dramas. There are four in this segment. There's Love Between Fairy and Devil, a Xianxia drama starring Esther Yu and Dylan Wang. They announced earlier today that they are premiering on August 7th. Esther Yu plays a lowly mortal called Xiao Lanhua, who accidentally revives a demon king played by Dylan Wang. Turns out he was responsible for wiping out Xiao Lanhua's tribe thousands of years ago. He tries to sacrifice her soul but ends up falling for her. The Ai Chi drama is slated for 36 episodes. Then there's Nobody Knows, a modern drama starring Ohao and Yuvin Wang. I spoke about this drama in my last episode where they announced their premiere date of August 8th a few days ago. As Douban explains it, Ohao plays a student who's constantly disparaged on campus because of his father's checkered past. He has three close friends, one of whom is played by Yuvin Wang, who stand by him through all the criticism. One day, things come to a boil, and some major challenges test their friendship. The Yuku drama is slated for 16 episodes. Then there's Rose War, a modern drama starring Yuan Quan and Huang Xiaoming. They announced an August 8th premiere yesterday. According to Douban, Yuan Quan plays Gu Nian, a full-time housewife who returns to work as a lawyer when her husband is imprisoned. Huang Xiaoming plays a fellow lawyer who helps her out. The Ai Chi drama is slated for 40 episodes. And lastly, there's Dear Little Mermaid, a modern drama starring Lin Siyi and Xu Kaixing. They also announced an August 8th premiere yesterday. If you're wondering where you've seen Lin Siyi before, she played Sing Fu's sister-in-law in the story of Sing Fu. As Baidu describes it, in Dear Little Mermaid, Lin Siyi stars as a comic illustrator who suffers from lupus. While at the hospital, she accidentally reunites with Xu Kaixing's character, a resident doctor with whom she missed a chance at romance years ago. The drama is slated for 24 episodes and will premiere on Aichi and Tencent. So four dramas coming up, with three of them confirmed for August 8th. I can't help but think that auspicious number 8 might have something to do with it. In China, the number 8 is auspicious because it sounds like wealth and therefore is associated with it. Anyway, I'll update on where to watch all those dramas with English subs after they premiere. Alright, moving on now to dramas that recently passed review. We begin with A Romance of the Little Forest, a modern drama starring Esther Yu and Vin Zhang. The Yuku drama obtained its distribution license for 36 episodes on August 1st. As Baidu explains it, the drama follows a fashion blogger, played by Esther Yu, who travels to a remote town and bumps into an old flame, played by Vin Zhang, who is now a botany professor in town for research. And that's it for drama updates. Moving on, celebrity updates, and we begin with the stars of Immortal Samsara, Yang Zi and Cheng Yi, who recently did a live stream together. According to media outlet Wa, it was less than well received. Netizens were quoted as saying it was insincere. The fantasy costume drama Immortal Samsara is currently streaming. Last week, it came in number two on viewing and popularity charts. Recently, to promote the drama, its two stars, Yang Zi and Cheng Yi, did a live stream together to share anecdotes. However, according to the Wa article, it was all rather flat, and the interaction was very cold. 
Yang Zi had to leave early because of another engagement, and Cheng Yi was seen wearing a costume from a different drama, one he's currently working on, The Lotus Casebook. Many netizens were dumbfounded by it all and called it insincere. Additionally, as the article reports, one has to pay to watch Immortal Samsara's high-quality behind-the-scenes footage. This is unlike many other dramas, which release their behind-the-scenes footage online and can be viewed for free. Netizens express displeasure towards Yuku for this, some commenting that if they don't improve, people will start dropping their shows. Next up, Fun Bingbing has been in the news lately. Her episodes of the Korean drama Insider recently aired, and she shared Instagram pictures that got fans talking. 40-year-old Fun Bingbing has had peaks and valleys in her career. At the height of it, she was one of the highest paid and most sought after actresses in China. But it all came to an abrupt end when she was revealed to be evading taxes. Her last Chinese drama to air was 2014's The Empress of China, in which she played Empress Wu Zetian. Recently, her episodes of the Korean drama Insider aired. She had a guest role in the action thriller and appeared in two episodes. The role marked her debut in a Korean drama and her first appearance in a drama since The Empress of China. On August 1st, she also shared on IG a series of pictures she took with some famous Korean actors and directors. She captioned it, Friends taking pictures together to commemorate. Among the friends were actors Lee Jung Jae, star of Squid Game, and Jung Woo Sung, and director Park Chan Wook, who's behind the classic movie Old Boy. Fun Bingbing's series of pictures got netizens talking on social media. Is this the beginning of something new? Netizens left comments like, Fun Bingbing's momentum has returned, and those are all major players in the pictures. Others commented on her appearance, saying she's lost weight. Others still suggested that she should just develop her acting career in Korea. Not a bad suggestion if there is really no way of her filming stuff in China anymore. And currently, all indications are that production companies over there aren't willing to take a chance on anyone who's been cancelled. Pretty much all the cancelled celebrities that I've covered, Fan Bingbing, Zhao Wei, Deng Lun, Zhang Zhehan and so on, have not filmed any Chinese productions since their cancellations. Perhaps overseas is an option, especially for someone like Fan Bingbing, who does have an international fan base and who has been in a few overseas productions. Next up for celebrity updates, Vic Cho was in the news yesterday, but not for the best reasons. As this NetEase article published a couple of days ago reports, Vic was swindled out of almost 34.5 million new Taiwan dollars. Vic Cho is a Taiwanese singer and actor who shot to fame as a member of the F4 in the 2001 version of Meteor Garden. Since then, he's appeared in many Chinese dramas, including 2018's The Flame's Daughter with Del Raba, and last year's Palace of Devotion with Liu Tao. According to NetEase, Vic and his wife, Taiwanese actress Rin Yu, were swindled out of approximately 34.5 million new Taiwan dollars, about 1.15 million US dollars. Reportedly in 2018, a friend of Rin's, one Miss Feng, introduced the couple to an insurance investment plan. They agreed to pay the premiums in six installments of approximately 230,000 US dollars each. The payments were to be automatically transferred from Reen's bank account. However, when the premiums were due, Miss Feng persuaded Vic and Reen to pay by cash instead, saying that huge bank transfers may cause the authorities to be suspicious. Vic and Reen agreed. Payments went on for a while until 2021 when the insurance company notified the Chos that they were behind on their payments. That's when they realized they'd been had and called the police. When asked about this matter, Vic's agency only said that they leave everything to the lawyers and the courts to deal with. Boy, 1.15 million US dollars is a lot of money to be swindled out of. Moral of the story, I guess, is to do your homework when it comes to investments, even if it's introduced by someone who you think is a friend. And be extra vigilant when they start asking for cash. 
Moving on now, I want to update on a couple of stories I recently covered. Firstly, Jimmy Lin. Media outlet Sina Entertainment recently quoted his family as saying he's safe and can be transferred to the general ward on Monday. It's been almost two weeks since 47-year-old Taiwanese actor, singer, and race car driver Jimmy Lin got into that horrific car crash. Jimmy was in the Tesla with his six-year-old son, Jensen. Jensen came out of it relatively okay. The Tesla, as you can see, was totaled. According to the Senna article, Jimmy has completed the first stage of surgeries. They also quote Jimmy's brother as saying that Jimmy's safe and could be transferred to the general ward on August 1st, so that would have happened a few days ago. The other update is on Mo Lee, the dancer who had a giant screen crash down on him during a Mirror concert. As So Entertainment reported yesterday, Mo is still in a coma. He needs intubation and perhaps a third surgery. On July 28th, 27-year-old Mo Li, Lei Kain, was dancing on stage for the boy group Mirror when a giant screen reportedly weighing 600 kilograms crashed down and landed on him. According to the Seoul article, Mo was conscious when he was sent to the hospital but was temporarily paralyzed from the neck down due to a brain hemorrhage and a ruptured cervical vertebrae. The article added that Mo is now in a coma and breathing through intubation. Doctors performed two operations, but his condition did not improve. They are considering doing a third. Next up for celebrity updates, Ma Tianyu takes a travel website to task in a not-so-thinly-veiled message. In a now-deleted August 2nd post, 36-year-old Ma Tianyu gave ctrip.com a good piece of his mind, saying, Your cricket numbers are a bit disgusting. There were 3,000 plus tickets, but when I clicked in, it became 6,000 plus, and in the end, it's more than 10,000. Such a bad look. He also shared a picture of a not-so-nice gesture with the middle finger missing, but I think C-Trip can connect the dots. As if that wasn't enough, Ma Tianyu complained again in the comments section, simply saying, garbage. Not exactly sure what other context there was to Ma Tianyu's outburst, but just reading his message, which I guess he thought went too far since he deleted it, it doesn't really paint the entire picture, but I still found it pretty funny. According to Sena Entertainment, netizens commented saying, Brother Ma is my online mouthpiece. Thank you for scolding for me. And he speaks how I feel. There are too many big data sites out there swindling people. On that note, it's Thursday today, so time for another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. As you guys know, every Sunday we do the Top 10 Chinese Web and TV Dramas of the Week. In this segment, I give some of my thoughts and predictions as to who the champions will be. To recap, last week's top web drama was Love Like the Galaxy with Liu Wu and Zhao Lusi. And the top TV drama was Growing Pain Season 2 starring Zhang Xiaoyi and Yan Ni. I think Love Like the Galaxy is going to continue its reign as champion to make it four consecutive weeks as the top web drama. For TV dramas, it'll be a tight race between Growing Pain Season 2 and The Heart of Genius, but I'm going to back The Heart of Genius to be the new champion this week. So Love Like the Galaxy and The Heart of Genius to be champions this week. What do you guys think? And that's been another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. It also brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below the video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.